success is obviously it's not an accident strain every nerve and crack the civil services examination at the end they will become civil servants and they will do better than officers like me she appeared she cracked she not only cracked in fact she topped the civil service examination she stood first the ias gives you enormous power it gives you enormous courage and veranda ias is ready to uh, play a role to guide at this point of time Veranda IAS, where your dream becomes reality. Hello everyone. Welcome to the daily current affair analysis from Veranda IAS. Today, we are going to see some of the important current affair topics from the day of 5th of July, 2023. Moving on to the topics of the day. So as usual, we'll be discussing some of the important questions from prelims 2023. And after the question discussion, we'll be moving on to the article analysis from the science page of the Hindu. Our topic is understanding leptospirosis, a disease that surges during the monsoon, which can be mapped to GS2 health as well as to science and technology. And the next topic is about Shanghai Cooperation Organization heads of state adopted the New Delhi Declaration, which can be mapped to GS2 international relations. And the third topic is about ESRS mobile app that can be mapped to GS2 governance. And finally, we'll be also having the questions of the day. So without wasting much time, let us slowly proceed further towards the prelims 2023 question discussion. So first of all, let us see the question that is there. So the question is consider the following statements regarding the Indian squirrel. Okay, let us see the statement. Statement one says that they build nests by making burrows in the ground. Second statement, they store their food materials like nuts and seeds in the ground. Third statement, they are omnivorous. How many of the above statements are correct? And this is a question asked from environment. And let us see the options only one, only two, all three or none. Okay, so let us see the explanation. So you, here you should understand that. The Indian palm squirrels, they build their nest in the hollow tree trunks and tree branches. Okay, so we can see that the first statement that is governed is actually wrong. Okay, so uh, not only that, now you can see these creatures bury them underground to store them for later retrieval when winter arrives. So the second statement is correct, right? And contrary to the popular relief, squirrels do not exclusively consume nuts. Being omnivorous, squirrels enjoy eating both plants as well as meat. So the third statement is also correct. And besides eggs, small insects, caterpillars, small animals, and even young snakes, squirrels also eat fungi, seeds, nuts, and fruits also. So we can see that squirrels are an omnivorous animal. That is, they eat both nuts as well as of the small meats. So the, we, we have been asked to map which of the statements are correct. So the right answer to this question is option b that is only two statements are correct first statement is wrong because why they build their nest in all the tree trunks and tree branches not in under the ground okay yes moving on to the next question consider the following statements first statement some mushrooms have medicinal properties some mushrooms have psychoactive properties some mushrooms have insecticidal properties some mushrooms have bioluminescent properties how many of the above statements are correct which is again a question asked from enron Okay, so here you should understand that it has been discovered very much that medicinal mushrooms like shiitake or maitake and reishi, they have anti-tumor as well as immunostimulant properties. So here you should understand that the shiitake, maitake and the reishi mushrooms, they are good sources of vitamin B, fiber and also antioxidants and they will probably have a positive impact on men's health simply by being included in the diet. So the first statement is correct. They have certain medicinal properties. Then drugs or other substances with psychoactive properties alter the way the brain functions and result in changes to mood, awareness, thoughts, feelings or even behavior. So alcohol, coffee, nicotine, marijuana and some painkillers are examples of psychoactive substances. So you should clearly understand what is a psychoactive substances. So the chemical called as Psilocybin, okay, so the chemical called as psilocybin, it is P S I L O C Y B E N. So, this chemical called as psilocybin is also known as magic mushroom. Many of you might have already heard about magic mushroom, right? So, this is actually called as magic mushroom. The chemical called as psilocybin is giving that effect of magic mushroom, that is, it is a hallucinogen. 
Okay, so this allows uh, psilocybin containing mushrooms, they can produce a range of effects from euphoria and even to hallucination. That is why it is also called as hallucinogen. Okay, and more and more recently, it has been de discovered that mushrooms contain a variety of insecticidal substances also. So, the second statement and third statement is also uh, correct. And the production and emission of light by living things is known as bioluminescence okay you should understand first of all what is bioluminescence that is this emission or the production of light by living things is known as bioluminescence and one of the most brilliantly glowing bioluminescent mushrooms is the panelus stipticus okay panelus stipticus panelus stipticus so this is an example for mushroom with bioluminescence now the fourth statement is also correct and I am adding certain points during the day. These flat fungi, which resembles a clump of tiny fans growing on sticks, they are a dull shade of yellow beach. But at night time, they become dazzling decorations. A mushroom documentation project in the forests of northeast India led to the discovery of a new mushroom variety that is bioluminescent or light emitting in addition to 600 type, different types of fungi, which also have the same bioluminescent properties so which of the statements are correct here all four statements given are correct and what is the relevance of this news why this news is being asked in the news mushrooms frequently appear uh, especially in science attack and also in images okay and also this uh, special type of mushroom called as gucci mushroom okay the gucci mushrooms were the subject of question from the previous year also and also because because why gucci mushrooms got a gi tag that was the current affair at that point of time so we can say that recently or uh, regularly we can find the uh, different different uh, uh, occurrences of different or types of mushrooms their discoveries or their properties as such in the news okay so so any such kind of a news of with respect to rare species their discovery or, 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 or the extinction phase by them such kind of things are very very important for the prelims moving on to the article analysis from the hindu science page understanding leptospirosis a disease that surges during the monsoon so now let us see what is the context of this news so leptospirosis has emerged as an important infectious disease in the world today. And it has a potential fatal zoonotic bacterial disease that tends to have a large outbreaks after heavy rain or flood. Okay, so we can see that mostly in the southern state during the time of monsoons, these kind of diseases are, go, are very, very popular also. Okay, now let us see about this disease. So the disease is more prevalent in warm, humid countries and both in urban as well as in rural areas. And not only that, it affects an estimated 1.03 million people every year and almost 60,000 60, people are being killed because of this. Disease. In India, thousands of people are affected by leptospirosis every year, especially during this monsoon. And it is most founded in the south. That is why we can see the studies are saying that the leptospirosis is more common in the south. And also, this could be due to a region's better health care because we can say that states like that of Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, uh, Kerala, they have very good health care system and thus better diagnosis or the disease detection is also there. That may be one of the main reasons why uh, like uh, the, the, uh, the study is showing a higher rate of uh, reporting of leptospirosis, especially in the south. Okay, yes. Let us see the causes for the disease. So this disease is caused by a bacterium called as leptospira interrogans or just leptospira this is very important okay so if you are finding any uh, kind of a disease just have a basic understanding of whether it is a viral disease whether it, whether it is bacterial zoonotic or these kind of details you should definitely understand and also just keep in mind what is that particular pathogen or the bacteria which causes that particular disease and it is a contagious disease in animals but it is occasionally transmitted to humans in certain environmental conditions also the carriers of the disease can be either wild or domestic animals including that of rodents cattle pigs and also even dogs so the cycle of disease transmission it begins with the shedding of leptospira usually in the urine of the infected animals these are the general main causes that is there with respect to the leptospirosis okay now let us see the symptoms the severity of this infection it will start from mild flu like illness to being any life threatening we can that is why we can say that it is potentially fatal okay and this can affect many organs reflecting systemic nature of the disease and also uh, this is why the signs and symptoms of leptospirosis are often mistaken for any other diseases it is an eventually progressing and also a fatal disease 
Now let's just see some of the misconceptions. Especially in Kannada, this is called as Ilijwara, or in Kerala or in Malayalam, it is called as Elipani in Malayalam. Okay, both meaning what? Rat fever. So this usage has fed the common belief that the rats are the sole cause of the disease. That is not true. Okay, so this these kind of statements can be asked in the prelims whether leptospirosis is caused by rats alone no it is not true ah, it has a spectrum of reservoir horse including pigs cattle water buffaloes goats dogs horses and sheep okay please do remember leptospirosis is not just caused by rats alone but because of a wide spectrum of other hosts also mm. further seasonal patterns such as onset of the monsoon it can also potentially facilitate the diseases incidence and also its transmission similarly poor waste management high density of the stray animals faulty drainage system and hygienic sanitation facility these are the major causes for this disease to spread in the urban areas whereas in rural areas also there are these kind of unhygienic and hygienic conditions especially in the dairy farms and other rural areas of the village activities that are the causes for the village areas also moving on to the preventing leptospirosis so leptospirosis control can benefit from a one health approach so now we'll be discussing what is this one health approach so you you should understand that one health is actually an interdisciplinary approach what do you mean by interdisciplinary approach that means a lot of different disciplines will be coming together and working in order to achieve a common goal and it recognizes the interconnections between health of animals plants humans and also their shared environment that is if, if we want to prevent the spread of this leptospirosis, it, care should not be given just to prevent it from humans, but also the environment of humans, environment of animals, plants and everything should be done in an interdisciplinary approach way. That is called as one health way. People who frequently interact with animals or their urine should exercise particular caution, such as by wearing some personal protective equipment like gloves and pots, especially those who are taking care of dairy farms or these kind of uh, farm activities. Preventing animals from getting infected is also important to reduce the risk of leptospirosis spreading to other of uh, animals and also creating uh, incurring losses to the economy of the far farmers. This in turn requires sanitary animal keeping conditions. Right, a normal minimal farmer with a minimal wage will not be able to provide this kind of a uh, uh, sanitary uh, requirement. So this is also desirable to improve the animal's health and to prevent the spread of many diseases. And for this thing, there definitely the government intervention should come. Given the spike or the hike in the leptospirosis during the monsoon, it is best to take precautions, including washing one's arms and legs with an antiseptic liquid after handling animal waste or after working in water. And what is the way for what this? For this, in sum, with one health in mind. Public health professionals must work closely with especially the animal husbandry department to familiarize people about the danger of leptospirosis and create countermeasures that work for the health of people and animals. So, what is being said? The health department should work along with the animal husbandry department. So, so this kind of a multidisciplinary approach should be taken in order for preventing or for stopping this diseases from spreading from one point to another. Moving on to the next topic, Shanghai Cooperation Organization or SEO heads of state adopted New Delhi Declaration. So you should understand that a virtual meeting of the Council of Heads of State of SEO was held on 4 July 2023 and according to the New Delhi Declaration, what was it? The member states will develop common principles and approaches to form a unified list. What kind of unified list? That is, this unified list will be of terrorist, separatist and extremist organization whose activities will be provided in all the SEO member states and that is what is being said in where in the New Delhi declaration and the member states stress the need for a joint and balanced approach to counter the trafficking of illicit drugs also between the member states and also call for compliance with convention on the prohibition for development production stockpiling and use of chemical weapons and also on their destruction okay member states agreed to declare 2024 as the SEO year of environment remember seo year of environment member states agreed to have 2024 as the seo year of environment and the presidency of the seo is handed over to kazakhstan and the next meeting of the seo council of Paris states will be held in 2024 in kazakhstan also. moving on to the next topic is rs mobile app so what is the news so we can understand that the secretary of uh, union ministry of rural development launched the e mobile app at new delhi 
So user is app is an e-commerce mobile app. And so if it is an e-commerce app, what it is going to trade or commerce? So we can see that it is used as a mere effective platform for marketing of the products made by women of self-help group. So any kind of a products that is developed by the women SRGs or women self-help groups will be marketed through this e-commerce website or e-commerce portal is also there and also through this e-commerce mobile app called as e -Sanus. And this is an initiative conceptualized by the Day NRLM. What is Day NRLM? Deen Dayal Andhyodaya Yojana National Rural Health Li Rural Livelihoods Mission. Okay, that is coming under which ministry? This is very important, Ministry of Rural Development. What is the objective of this Dhindayal Antyodaya Yojana? Towards the marketing of the best authentic handicrafts and also hand loops. That is what most of the women energy groups are producing. And this initiatives, it will promote the spirit of vocal for local, right? This kind of a terms are very, very important with respect to means perspective, vocal for local, right? It even further easier, it will be easy for the markets or products to get marketed uh, that was prepared by the SSC. Along with the ESRS fulfillment center was also inaugurated along with the mobile app, ESRS fulfillment center. That means if we need to have an e-commerce platform, the operation should happen. Right, that means the products buy from the SSGs should come to a particular garden. From there, the shipping to the required customers have to go. So for that, there should be some fulfillment center or an operation base should be there, and that is also inaugurated. And these centers will be managed by whom? By the Foundation for the Development of Rural Value Chains called as FDRVC. So what is FDRVC? It is a not-for-profit company considered generally by Ministry of Rural Development and Tata. And this center will be used for processing packaging and shipping of products that customers purchase through e-service portal and also through e-service mobile app any kind of a purchase of these operations of a packaging and everything delivery will be done through the fdrbc it will handle the logistics required to bring an online order to a consumers or a customer's doorstep now let us see the aim of the deen dayal antyodaya yoshana so the national rural livelihoods mission it is its main aim is to promote uh, poverty reduction through building strong institutions for the poor, particularly the vulnerable sections like that of women and enabling these institutions to access a range of financial services and also livelihood. So what is the main aim of the Indayal Antyodaya Yojana or National Rural Livelihood Mission? To promote poverty eradication or poverty reduction through building strong institutions and also for enabling the women self-help group to come forward and to have a financial access for them to proceed further okay yes moving on to the question of the day leptospirosis is a potentially fatal zoonotic bacterial disease that tends to have large outbreaks after heavy rain or flooding so which bacterial species is responsible for causing leptospirosis let us see the option leptospira interrogans streptococcus pneumonia salmonella typhi escherichia coli so which is the right one ah, the right answer is option a we have already discussed so i hope today's kind of a discussion was really fruitful for you so unless and until we meet next time this is prince j signing off thank you